In this video from Digital Dash University, we're going to consider trying to apply the row echelon form technique in the system that's overdetermined. Suppose, for example, we had this set of equations, three equations, but only two unknowns. And we want to know, can we find an x and a, a value for x1 and x2 that will satisfy all three equations? So let's use the augmented, let's form our augmented matrix as we did in the previous video. So the first column is going to be 1, 1, negative 1. Then here we have 1, negative 1, 2. And then we also include these numbers. And what we do is form a vertical line. And we have 1, 3, negative 2. So that's our augmented matrix. And again, when you're forming the augmented matrix, for this number here, the first uh, row and the first column, you want that to be 1. So if our problem here, if all of these, well, let's say that this had a 4 by it, so that this was 4, what we could do is just interchange these two rows. That's, that, that operation is allowed. But we don't have to do that because this is 1. Or if all of these in x1 had non-1s, so this had, say, for example, minus 7, and that was 8, and that was 5, then we'd have to divide through by 5 to make that coefficient equal to 1. But our problem is so simple, we don't have to do any of those manipulations. So what we do is proceed along as we did in the previous video. And we say, all right, beneath this number, we want both of these to be 0. And obviously, if this was added with negative 1, that would be 0 then. So you imagine multiplying the first row by negative 1 and adding it to the second row. Now, when I say multiplying the first row by negative 1, I don't mean literally. These numbers here don't change. 1, 1, 1. We imagine multiplying this by negative 1 and then adding. So this is 0. That would be negative 2. And negative 1 plus 3, this makes this plus 2. And obviously, to get this to 0, all I have to do is add. So that's 0. And then here we have 1 plus 2. That's 3. And then we have 1 plus negative 2. That's negative 1. So now the augmented matrix looks like this. And let's divide this row here by negative 2. So that will be plus 1, and that will be negative 1. Plus 1 negative 1. OK. Now, what we want to do is proceed along and see if we can make this number 0. And the way we could do that, of course, is multiply through by negative 3 on this row and then add it to this one. So. These numbers stay unchanged. We have 1, 1, 1. These numbers stay unchanged. Now we imagine multiplying this by negative 3 and adding. So this stays 0. This is 0. Negative 3 times negative 1, that's positive 3 plus negative 1, that's positive 2. 
We didn't do a very good job of keeping things in range. All we did was multiply, or in our imagination, multiply this by negative 3 and add. So that stays 0, 0 plus 0. Now this becomes 0. Negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3 minus 1 is plus 2. So now the matrix looks like this, and hopefully you can see we have a problem. The problem is here we have 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 equals 2. So essentially we have 0 plus 0 equals 2. That can't happen. So obviously whenever you're using the uh, row echelon form or what's sometimes called Gaussian elimination, if you have a row that looks like this, then that means there is no solution to the equation. Or for, to be more correct, we should say, to the equations. And if we go back and look what we have, well, each one of these is an equation for a line. Now for any, we could choose any two of these equations and find a solution because unless the lines are parallel with two lines, we know they're going to intersect somewhere. So at some region, they're going to have an x1 and an x2 that's common to them. So therefore, for two of these we could find a solution, but now we're asking to have three lines to intersect at a common point. That's not impossible, but it's unlikely. And we could see then that when we use the augmented matrix technique, or the row echelon form, if we just kind of plow ahead and crunch the numbers, we don't go too far downstream, and all of a sudden we come to a screeching halt right here, telling us that there is no solution to these equations. And this is what's called an overdetermined system because we only have two different variables, x1 and x2, but yet there's three different equations that we're trying to satisfy with these. So whenever you have a situation where there are more equations than there are variables, you have an overdetermined system, and chances are there's not going to be a solution to it. And once I said chances are, there are exceptions, and what we'll do is, um, just to convince you of that, we'll take a more complicated problem in the next video, go ahead, form our augmented matrix, and what ha will happen is we're going to get zeros down here in our last row, but this number 2, will be zero. If it's like that, then we don't come to a screeching halt and we might be able to solve the problem. So come back, join us for the next video. We'll consider another one of these overdetermined systems here and it'll be one of those rare instances where in fact you can get a valid uh, solution. So come back and join us for that equation, and we'll go ahead and try and plot through another problem using the row echelon form, or sometimes it's referred to as the Gaussian elimination technique.